Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world and if you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. In today's video, again, five amazing Bitcoin charts, a trading tip, how to determine that the top of the bull market in, of course, a travel tip. Uh, this one is about Spain. Yes, of course, talking about the news because there is a huge event happening very soon that is really bullish for Bitcoin. And of course, answering the question of one of the followers and an inspirational quote at the end, a beautiful Monday morning here in Torre Vieja, Spain. Let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what I see that is happening now to Bitcoin short and long term. Bam! The first chart, guys, for today is the four hour chart, like usual. Um, yes, I took some profits yesterday here when that four hour candle closed down below the second line. You can see uh, that's mostly when we turn a little bit more bearish. So I saw the green disappearing, I saw the red line on top on the bottom over here. I also saw that blue line crossing that white line. So that's when I exited the trade, I started over there. That was a beautiful profit, and I will wait for another trade to come. Never forget, there's always a new train or trade passing by guys if we zoom out to the uh, daily chart we can see that that green line is crossing that blue line i haven't seen that before during the bull market i did see it one time before in the last bull market but that was very short lived let me show you over here here that green line guys uh, at a dead cross there that's when the green line crossed also the blue line but then we came above it again and then we stayed above and here a very tiny time again so it's not like really bad but it's like also not the most bullish move uh, um, that those two line crosses but I have some way more important very bullish signal in another chart that I will talk about in the news guys so keep on hanging in there um, after these charts I will do the tip and all that other stuff but there will be another chart that is very important to see at the end of the video we can see the RSI beautifully breaking out here on daily uh, reaching almost here the 70 level that's amazing the MACD is showing bullishness so it's all good guys we are in a bull market now let's jump into some charts that are really interesting to see this is the first chart that is showing you why that we hit at 67k level because uh, I told you already, often we go for these liquidation levels, and that liquidation level was a 67k. There is also still one here around 65,500, 600-ish. Maybe we drop to there to pick up some more liquidity, and then there will be a new liquidation level on these heat maps shown where we will go next. And my honest opinion, somewhere around 69 to 72k, that should be a target for us to visit very soon. Now. If we take a look at this one, we can see the Ichimoku analyst. This means the Ichimoku cloud, which is this grayish cloud that flips sometimes. You can see it over there, there's a flip, there was a flip. And we can see, of course, also here the golden cross. Here there was a golden cross, the red line was going above that blue line. At the same time, we saw um, a breakout. A breakout means that the candles are closing above that Ichimoku cloud over there. And that's a very important moment if we see this golden cross and that ishimoku cloud and we see candles above it yes the last time we saw a move of 60 percent and that's exactly what is almost happening now over here we see this um, golden cross this is on the daily chart we see the candles almost above that ichimoku cloud we even saw the flip of this cloud if we would break out just like the previous time we could again see a 60 percent move a 60 percent move would bring us to 100,000 US dollar for the first time in the history of bitcoin this is a daily chart guys so every move can take a long time all the way up until the end of summer for example but just another uh, indicator that will tell you hey wow we are going to go and get bullish and if we zoom out a little bit to the one month chart this is the monthly chart every candle is a month then we can see of course that yes that fight against that blue line over there is there and we need to break that blue line just like we had a fight over here like one two three months and then the fourth month this candle bam we took distance from that blue line over here we broke directly through the blue line, but we had a lot of bullishness already over there, sideways movement over there, and then bam, we broke it. So every and each cycle is different, but it's not strange to hover around that blue line for a couple of months, because that's what we are doing. The first month, the second month, now almost the third month, but after that hovering, that consolidation, we will see a breakout, maybe all the way to the top, that would be like 300k, but in my honest opinion, we will go to the mid of that red area, somewhere around 160 to 120k, somewhere there. But it's very important to understand that every time the same thing happens. We have a red dot, a red dot, green dot, 
blue dot breakout red dot red dot green dot blue dot breakout every time it's the same here we can see the total stablecoin supply so we can see how much stablecoins there is in total uh, we almost were at 200 billion we're a little bit lower now we can see that usdt is the main stablecoin but i want to show you this chart to show you that there is a lot of stablecoins it's not just usdt and uh, BUSD and USDC. We have the DAI, which is a decentralized one, and it's, it's gaining popularity. You can see it's becoming bigger and bigger. We have FDUSD, we have USDE, we have TUSD, we have FRAX, we have HUSD, we have BUSD, we have LUSD, GUSD. There are so many stable coins to use in all the different blockchains, and probably soon we will be able to uh, also add a Bitcoin blockchain stable coin, and it would be then USDH. Uh, as far as I know, but let's see. But just showing you, there is a lot of stable coins. The biggest ones, of course, are USDT, USDC, and uh, BUSD and DAI. These are the biggest ones. These are the ones that I use uh, to diversify in the bull market top, at the bull market top, I should say. And then there is another cool thing I want to share with you. Yes, there is some whales buying Bitcoin. We can see that over here. Uh, this is the hash ID, if you want to copy it and paste it. But uh, you can see that 16,445 Bitcoins were bought. That's like $1 billion worth of Bitcoins. The fee was seven US dollar. It could have been cheaper, but they paid a little bit extra. Normally the fee would have been four dollars, but they paid a little bit extra to have a little bit quicker transaction. But just imagine moving one billion dollar for like seven bucks. Try to do that in a normal monetary system. Try to move one billion dollar from one bank to another bank and calculate those fees and the days and the time. There was a huge buy order. A lot of Bitcoins being bought, I believe by a will, hash ID, do your own research, but that is showing that also those people understand where we are in a cycle. We are just getting started. And that's what we see in this job. We see the halving, and what happened after the halving? Huge bullish move. This is also in 2013. This is 2016. Halving, what happened? Huge bullish move. This is the halving in 2020. What happened? huge bullish move this is the halving now what is going to happen a huge bullish move we're going to go now in the orange red part of these candles that orange red part of the candles that orange red part of the candles so be prepared for this huge bullish move that will take all the way into 2025 Yes, we could make a new autumn high in 2024, but the ultimate top will be in 2025. Give it another 12 to 18 months. Yes, I know you're impatient, but we are just getting started in the left corner of this box. And we are going to go all the way, guys, into this box, to the top. Not to the top, to near the top, or to the half of that box, even if it's good for me, between 120 and 160 k But do understand that we are just getting started. Also on this chart, again, the same confirmation. This is a 2016 halving. We went down after the halving, exactly to that black line. And then we went up to 2017 bull market top. Here, 2020, it was consolidation around the halving, just sideways. After that, bam, up to the bull market top. Now, 2024, we are in between. We are consolidating and we are going a little bit downwards. We are touching that black line. We will go up to a top. In my opinion, it's as simple as that. And yes, of course, all the results from history are not guaranteeing that the future will be the same, but at least TA is showing us that every time around that halving, we will explode into a new bull market of 12 to 16 months. Around that halving, a new bull market of 12 to 16 months. Around this halving, we will see another bull market of 12 to 16, 17, 18 months, somewhere in the midst of 2025. And yes, of the top of our penthouse, because there's a little bit too much noise downstairs, guys. I hope you really enjoyed those charts. Short term, beautiful trades. I did two of them. You can see over here, bam and bam, beautiful results. And of course, long term, zooming out, looking at the bigger picture exactly where we need to be after this halving almost a copy of the 2017 halving and now you know we can see that we are fighting that previous autumn high to take it up uh, to the next leg in the bull market that second part that explosive part that euphoria part that still needs to come so we will have a beautiful 12 to 18 months ahead of us until we see the next bull market up amazing times to be in bitcoin invest 
dollar cost average at every and each dip if you would have a dollar cost average into the dip at 57k that one bitcoin will now already be 10k in profit as we are at 67k guys amazing times let's quickly jump into the trading tip To determine what the top of the bull market is, today we're going to discuss the Bitcoin family VIP signal on the weekly and the monthly chart to show you exactly that it's every time flashing at that bull market top. Let's go behind my laptop and explain it a little bit better. Bam. The first signal, guys, to show you that the bull market top is in is the Bitcoin family VIP indicator setup, guys. We can see all those sell and these buy signals on this chart. This chart I already posted uh, for you guys in March, February 2023. I told you maybe we'll copy 2021 bull market, it's the blue line. If not, we will copy the 2070 bull market, it's that green line. We can see if you look very closely and uh, that we are in between those lines from the moment we went in between those lines with the candles. Now we are outperforming those two lines. We're above the yellow line. So yes, we are doing better than that blue and that green market if we would have copied those guys. So that's a very positive thing. Now, how does that indicator tell you that the bull market top is in? Let's just analyze the previous bull market tops. Every time we can see, for example, 2017, we see buy signals on the weekly, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy. But the last part, there is a buy signal near that yellow line. We will see a huge run of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 weeks. That's almost four months without a sell signal. And then that sell signal appears. That is mostly 16 to 17 months after the halving. When we see a sell signal 16 to 17 months after the halving, after four months of no sell signal, well, it was a buy signal, that is when the top is in. Let's look to the previous bull market. During the bull market, this was the bear market bottom, low risk of buying, I told you. And we buy, we sell, we buy, we sell, we buy. That's a weekly sell. So that's like selling over here. That's one, two, three, four, five weeks later, we buy again. One, two, three, four, five, six weeks later, we sell again. That's nice trades to make some profits in the beginning of the bull market. But then there will be a moment. There's again a buy signal around the yellow line. And it will take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 34, 67, 8, almost 24 weeks before we saw a sell signal. And there was no sell signal in between on that weekly chart. When the sell signal comes, and it's 16 to 17 months after the halving, that was over here, it March 21, the halving was in 2020. When that is there, over there, again, the sell signal starts selling into stable coins. Then I told you again, hey, low risk over here, you need to buy that bear market. That's why I said we are here at the moment. And then that's when I told you we could copy one of those two runs. And it would mean we end somewhere in September 2025 at a bull market top of between 100k and 160k. That's why I told you that. Now, we have been seeing a lot of buy and sell orders already. You know, we can see them very clearly over here. Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. We are waiting for another buy signal again on that weekly. In my opinion, we still have some buy and sell signals to come before we get that final buy signal and no sell signal for weeks or months. And then that sell signal, that is when the bull market top will be in. It's somewhere near this area over there. Until that moment, we will get still some more selling opportunities, buying opportunities, selling opportunities, buying, and etc. etc. Just like at the other bull markets went. Just pause the video too if you want to analyze a little bit more, but I will be repeating this chart again, again, again. But every time that we see that latest buy signal, then the yellow line going up steeply, that is when the next sales thing tells us, okay, now you should be selling, guys. And yes, of course, you can see, of course, over here, there's also when the MACD and the RSI and all the lines start to cross. But we will talk about that another time. That was a tip for today. 
The travel tip for today guys is about Spain and food. A real Spanish dish is of course paella. You can eat paella with chicken or with fish or with any other kind of beef or meat or vegetables. You can use all of these ingredients in paella. It's made in this huge pan. Mostly you need to order with a minimum of two people because it's cooked in this huge pan, but it is really delicious. Yesterday we ate a paella con pollo because I need to eat more chicken. I need to have more proteins since my, uh, my fitness pan. Well, it's very difficult to eat proteins by the way, but uh, I discovered in Spain, you know, you need to eat like tuna, you need to eat chicken, you need to eat beef. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit the thing that contains a lot of uh, protein. If you know more protein stuff, let me know down below. Yes, I tried to eat a little bit more healthy, which is really difficult in Spain. Because first of all, intermediate fasting is almost impossible in Spain, as the Spanish people eat very late. They eat very late. They eat like around 10 o'clock in the evening, 9 o'clock. 10 o'clock some just come into the restaurant at 10 o'clock to have dinner they of course have their siesta in the afternoon where they just take a break uh, they eat their breakfast really early they eat a very boring breakfast in my own opinion like coffee with this bread with a little bit jam or you know, aioli I, I, I don't think I could say that as a breakfast I need my yogurt with fresh fruit and all that stuff or a tuna roll or whatever it is that has a lot of protein but they eat in a different way so intermediate fasting here uh, it's difficult because the restaurants sometimes only open at 7 30 or like seven o'clock so it's not easy to eat before that uh, time and the second thing is there's a lot of unhealthy food it's a lot of carbs in this spanish food but paella is a very delicious dish it has some protein it has a little bit carbs and it has a little bit fat so that's a perfect combination if i need to believe my fitness belt so that's a travel tip for today if you go to spain eat paella A question that I hear very often, Didi, how to store my Bitcoins in a safe way? Now, how to store your Bitcoins is very simple. The safest way to store your Bitcoins is by using a hardware wallet or not even using a hardware wallet. Not even using a hardware wallet means that you memorize the seed phrase or you write down the seed phrase on the paper or you have these steel plates that you know, can't burn and everything that you can um, save your seed phrase on and you put those safely somewhere in a safe or in a place that nobody knows of. So then there is no device holding your Bitcoins. It's just your seed phrase. Whenever you need your Bitcoins, then you need to load your seed seed phrase into a wallet doesn't matter which wallet and you will get access to your bitcoins that is the safest way the second safest way is of course to use a hardware wallet a ledger or bitbox or trezor or a keystone all of these are really good wallets the keystone there is a link down below because that's a very new one but it has a beautiful display just like an iphone using a wallet so that works really simple the ledger and the bitbox and the trezor it's like not that simple as a keystone but still it's also easy but you need to get like use how to use it with all the buttons and everything uh, that's the second safest way the third safest way of course is in a custodial service that you really trust so i'm talking to one of these custodial servers that make it possible to store your seed phrase on a decentralized blockchain where you need to sign with three people to get access to your seed phrase that's maybe the third safest way but I will come back to that one later. So for now, or just memorize your seed phrase or write it down on a paper or a steel plate or use a hardware wallet. And in the future, I will give you another option where you can store your seed phrase in a decentralized way without having it with you or on depending on some kind of a physical safe somewhere to put your seed phrase in. But I will get back to that later. This was the answer to one of the questions. The news for today is very bullish news. Bitcoin is about to make a golden cross on the 12 hour chart. The last time we made a golden cross on a 12 hour chart, we went up with 170%. If we make a golden cross now on that same 12 hour chart, we go up with 170%, we go way above the 100K we would come around that 160K that I've been talking about. And that 12 hour chart, if you look back in history, every time when we saw a golden cross on that 12 hour chart, we saw the same huge move happening. Of course, also when we see them on the daily chart, but also the 12 hour chart, historically it has been an amazing signal for Bitcoin to move up again. And we are about to see a golden cross. And a golden cross is when the 50 MA is crossing over the 200 MA to the top. And the 
opposite guys is a dead cross that is when the 50 is crossing down below the 200 so that's the news for today exciting news on the 12 hour chart yes almost making that golden cross which would lead into a massive bullish move and of course that is exactly on the moment that we see the second part of that bull market start guys now that was the news for today hope you enjoyed it let's jump into the last part of the video The last part guys of course the inspirational part and for this I, I want to talk about something that people mostly misunderstand so in life we need to accept that we won't be able to do everything perfect we will screw up big time sometimes that's all part of life but we refer to that as failure but we need to understand that failure is not the opposite of success failure is part of success we need to fail many times before we reach a status of success. So all those failures that sound really negative, see them just as small blocks you're building to become successful. I think that's very important. It's not the opposite of success. It's part of success. And everyone has it, and I even have it. Of course, I run into situations that I want to try new stuff, want to try new things. And sometimes I will fail. And after I have failed, I sit back and lean back. I look at what I did wrong and I will improve it the next time if I have another idea. But that is how you create success in the end. Success doesn't come fall out of the sky like <laughs> there is your success. It's a gift of the universe. You are successful. You build success through walking through that whole path. And that path has ups and downs. You go uphill, you go downhill, and you go uphill and you go downhill. And at the end, you want to reach the top. But when you reach that top, you will see there's another downhill and another higher top behind that top. And that's the success. You will always be able to reach the new level of success. And failure is just part of it. Also, when it comes to Bitcoin, of course, you might have invested in the wrong moment sometimes in Bitcoin just before a Bitcoin crash. You learned from that. You started to understand the four-year cycle. That's how I became successful because I'm doing this shit already since 2013. I went through a lot of cycles to understand exactly the timing of the four-year cycle. And at the moment, I have that four-year cycle right every time again and again and again. I was able to cash out in 2017. I was able to cash out in 2021. And I will also be able to cash out now in 2025. And yes, I will be buying back that bottom again in 2026, 7 just like I bought that bottom around 17k this time and I bought that bottom before around 3k when I told you guys we will never go to 1k 3k is a bottom buy a lot of people told me no nah, we will go to 1k 2019 a lot of people didn't buy that 3k bottom bam Bitcoin went to 6k 8k 10k and we were back before you knew it at 20k now I told people to buy at 16k no we will go to 12k and bam there we were at 30k in 2025 I will tell you when I will exit the top I have my signals for that just like I told you and when I exit the top I will share it with you in this YouTube channel so make sure you subscribe and when I start to buy back again at the bottom I will make my YouTube video again hey guys I am buying back this is the bear market bottom and I will be reminding you again please remember last time you told 1k next time maybe you will think 30k well we are all at 40 or 50k and I will tell you at 40 or 50k I'm gonna buy the bottom and I will run that next four-year cycle again. So it's very important for everyone to understand that failure is part of success. It's not the opposite of success. Don't feel it as something negative. Don't feel it as failure. Don't feel it as painful. Feel it as building blocks all the way up to success. That's the inspirational part for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it and also the view. And if you did enjoy this video, again, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about all the tips? What do you think about the life lesson and failure and success? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching and wish you an amazing Monday, amazing week, and see you tomorrow again. Bam.